Charlotte Flyer. As a member of the NAIA Heading Athletics and Athletic Conference, we're committed to the true spirit of competition and virtue, five core values respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and sportsmanship. We ask that each of you abide by these values, self credit, positive and positive 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 positive
Grimes left open, finds Baher, and Baher's going to get the body contact from Car Sorry, that's Carlson. That'll be his first, team first. Grimes had the three for a minute. They left him, gave him too much space, and he used that space to his advantage, found the passing lane to Baher. He's at the line shooting two. Baher's first free throw is off. Baher, or excuse me, his first free throw was good. His second one is good as well. Sam Gold with the ball. He'll attack, and we're, uh, yeah, we're going to get a travel there. As Dalen Gales did well to cut him off there, and he just had no counter move for it. Baher finds Gales on the cut, and if you've been around this Bryan College team, you know they have been waiting for that play to produce that result all year, and it does right there. Now McClure with the ball, gets it top of the key to May. Bogan on the wing, the 24-point-a-game man. He'll go up on the whole team and get it to go. Good, strong move there, good footwork to keep his balance, and Bogan is on the board. That one's stolen by Grimes. Grimes up the floor. Looks to be a one on four. Looks like he'll pull it out and reset. And if you're just joining us, a little bit of an abbreviated start. First few minutes of the game got cut off, and it has been a good one. We've seen a back-and-forth offensive battle between the two teams. That's Finn McClure. He'll go up on D.A. D.A. straight up there. McClure takes the body contact and puts the layup in the hole. Uh, the lineup for Brian Grimes, D.A., Baher, Gales, and Caden Johnson. Ian Johnson out of the lineup once again with injury. And both teams here very close to each other in the AAC standings. And this is a game with huge postseason implications, um, you know, getting a better seed in the tournament, all things that are important as you get down the stretch in the season. Gales finds Grimes. Baher going to quickly, it looks like he'll set him a screen. Grimes just going to go to work, finds the cutting DA. DA up and in. That one, Sam Gold on the reverse. Great move there to put it up and in. Maybe deserved a foul. Didn't get it. Kept his focus and continued to finish the layup. Baher with the ball. Looking around. Grimes, quick pump fake. Contested jumper. 18 feet, no good. And DA is going to get an over-the-back foul there. But that's what he does. You definitely don't want him to stop doing things like that. DA provides so much value in hustle points. Um, offensive rebounding, anything like that. He's just an intangibles guy. Uh, one of the reasons that he starts for this Bryan College team. Now McClure going to go around the baseline. Bogans rejected by D.A. That one is going to be called a foul. Bogan will go to the line. To shoot two, the foul was on Baher. That's going to be his first, and I believe that's going to be team second. Into the game for the Lions is going to be number 35, Logan Allen. Allen played very well uh, down the stretch this year. 
for the Lions. Had some big games early in the year, but it was very inconsistent, very spotty. His last two um, in double figures in both of them, he's coming along really nicely. Definitely one of those uh, things that Coach Rakowski loves to see. He's put a lot of time in the young man, and he's not making him sorry uh, as we wind down the schedule for the season. Grimes with the ball, top of the key. Allen will swing it to Johnson. Milligan looks to have moved into his zone here. The Lions attacking it, but just moving the ball around, trying to get it inside, trying to get those good looks. Grimes will find Allen. Allen all the way. He'll be walled up, and we're going to get a traveling violation on Logan Allen. And into the game for the Buffaloes is going to be number 24, McCaskill Rivers. Rivers off the bench, but plays starter-type minutes. Just a freshman uh, out of Charlotte, North Carolina, stands 6'7", and he looks it, man. He stands every bit as tall with Allen out there. And, I mean, Rivers, he comes off the bench, but he averages about 14 a game, a really good player. And right there, the focus this week for Coach Rakoski and Lions was doubling him and doubling Bogans when they get it down low. Don't want to have a 1v1 when those two have it in the low post area. The pump fake now. That was by Jay Hickman, his 14-foot jumper, no good. Grimes up the floor with the ball, quickly gets it to Johnson. Allen going to cut through. Baher has it now. Baher can't find anybody. Looking around, Baher, there he is. Finds Gales. Gales open, top of the key, three-pointer. Dalen Gales, good from three. The young man has been a sniper from deep this year. And if you leave him, you give him any space, that catch and shoot is one of his best qualities out here. Hickman with the ball, top of the key, gets it to McClure. They're obviously looking for Rivers inside. Don't find him. Gold, contested three-point jump shot. That is no good. Grimes chased down the rebound. And it looks like Brian College will look to slow it down just a little bit. Now, never mind as Grimes gets it to the corner for Gales. I believe they're back into a man-to-man -man defense here. Excuse me, it's a zone. Milligan doing really well to disguise the zone. And Brian's going to have to get something going. Gales finds Grimes, top of the key. Caleb Grimes, that one is good. Back-to-back -back triples for the Lions. Milligan paying for running a zone defense right now, and that's kind of what you hope. You hope that your opponent can't knock them down from deep when you run a zone. You limit their inside touches, their driving angles. But right there, back-to-back -back triples for the Lions. Make sure that they might have to get out of this thing pretty soon. Rivers going to be doubled now. Rivers kicks it back out to Hickman. Hickman slips. That one's going to be corralled by Baher, fought for by Rivers. Baher now up the court to Gales. Gales, full head of steam, straight up defense, and looks like he came down with the arms. That foul is going to go on Finn McClure, and Gales will go to the chance. will go to the line with a chance to get three. That's going to be Milligan's second team foul. I believe that's going to be McClure's first personal on the game. Gales can't get the three-point play, can't convert the end one. Brian up 18-12, 13-12 on the game clock. Now top of the key, that's going to be Pip Corrent, and Corrent's first touch is a turnover. He was trying to get it into that just middle of the lane spot for Rivers, but unable to connect. Grimes with the ball. Brian College in control of this ball game right now. They're getting pretty much any look they want on offense. Grimes finds Baher. I believe, yes, Milligan is still in this zone. We'll see if that changes. The Lions, good ball movement here. Grimes sets his feet. Bang! Caleb Grimes. Lighting him up and letting him know about it. He's got two early triples here. He's on the board with six points. Caleb Grimes, one of the most improved players in this program. And McClure right back at him. Knocks down the deep triple. And talk about two guys that have worked their way through their respective programs and made it to the big stage. These two guys will be going at it all night. Allen with the ball finds Gales. Gales. Back top of the key to Baher. Baher looking for an angle. Finds Grimes. Grimes top of the key. Allen. Allen going to throw up a three. That one back iron. Bogan rebound. Milligan looks to push up the floor. Bogan. Caleb Grimes playing the angles very well. Takes it away. Gets it to Gales. Gales one man to beat. Gales all over him. Baptizes Bogans at the rim. 
and what a way to finish the highlight. My goodness, Dalen Gale's got the crowd pumping with that one. And Bryan College takes the 20-3 to, to 15 advantage. McClure finds the cutting rivers. Milligan gets on the board, not as flashy, but it still counts for two points. Grimes with the ball, pressure being applied by Hickman. Allen with the ball, top of the key. Brian not really sure where they want to go with it on offense. Logan Allen in the post, creating the angle. Can't get it to go. We're going to get a late whistle on Pip Corinth. Number 11, that's going to be his first, team third. A very late whistle. Not saying I disagree with the call. His arms were definitely not fully vertical there. And Allen's going to go to the line to shoot two. Allen's first free throw off the front iron and good. Checking back into the game for the, for the Buffaloes is going to be number five, Lincoln Tomei. So not a whole lot of subbing done by Coach Rakoski here. Um, nine minutes in, and we've only seen one man, Logan Allen, into the ball game as he gets on the board for his second point there. Bogan, top of the key. Brian obviously paying him a lot of attention. Pip Corrent now around Allen. Can't get it to go. Ball battled around, corralled by Baher. Gales with the ball, finds Johnson, right wing, he'll pump fake. Johnson around the screen, kind of got Bogans leaning for a second. Gales deep, three from the middle, chases his own rebound down. Gales finds Grimes, Grimes almost out of bounds. Had to make the hero catch there, 14 on the shot clock, out to Gales. Brian College kind of out of sorts, Gales pull up, jump shot, that one no good. I believe it was tipped by a combination of Rivers and Bogan. And that pass a little too hot to handle. And we're going to get a timeout for Coach Rakoski. 10-17 on the game clock. Excuse me, Bryan College leads 25-17. to We're going to take our first break. We'll be right back here on the Lions Radio Network. Welcome back in, folks. If you're just joining us, Bryan College up 25-17. to 17. Uh, just, just really good offensive flow for the Lions, knocking down their shots, taking them where they get them. And you see Grimes take a fall there. Allen's pass is tipped. No substitutions for the Lions just yet uh, besides DA early in the game. Bogans with the ball, has the smaller Johnson on him. He'll go around the screen. Euro steps, finds Tomei. Tomei well short. Bogan gives chase, finds Hickman. Hickman pump fake, left wing. Hickman for three. That one no good. Gales crashes in, causes Baher to come down with the board. Baher up the floor, finds Allen. Allen for three now. That one is well off. And that one's going to be off of Gales. Back into the game for the Buffaloes is going to be number 10, Finn McClure. And Milligan rolling the ball up the floor. Not, not too sure the intention behind that. They get it to Bogans on the left wing. Bogans, big body, Brian loading very well against him. McClure over to Tomei. Milligan, just not a whole lot of options right now. McClure, he finally cools off. That's his first miss from deep. Gales with the ball. He'll get it to Grimes. Brian looks to get into the half court. Milligan still running that zone. Grimes finds Allen. 
Gales will cut through. We'll see Baher, and both teams having trouble figuring each other out right now. Ten on the shot clock. Brian going to have to get something up here. Gales, right-hand drive. He'll be bumped by Rivers. That'll be a foul. It'll be his first team fourth. Grimes inbounds to Johnson. Tomei seemed to have kind of pushed Johnson out of the way there. He gets the steal and the two points. Johnson, middle of the paint. Allen, Allen all the way up and in. Logan Allen's got four on the board. Floor with it, gets it to Tomei. Gold, top of the key, drives in. And, yeah, that's going to be a traveling violation. Good wall-up defense there from the combination of Allen and Baher to stop Gold's drive. Eight oh nine on the game clock. Lions lead here 27-19 in a big game for the AAC Conference. There's the leading score right there. Caleb Grimes, top of the key. Lions a little out of sorts now. Allen gets it, finds Gales. Gales downhill, right hand drive. Gales tried it. The angle couldn't get it. That one rejected by Carlson. All alone in the corner. That's Carlson. No good. Allen with the board. Brian College must have seen something on the scouting report with him. He was just, he was naked over there in the corner. Allen will go all the way in, and we're going to get another traveling violation on Allen. And Coach Rakowski not happy, letting the far side official know about it. McClure with the ball, top of the key, the point guard, bringing it up as always for the Buffaloes. And one thing we haven't seen in this game is Folly Bogans. He's been on the bench for much of this first half. You've got to wonder if there's some strategy involved. I do not believe he's in foul trouble. And good heads up. And the official originally pointed Brian Ball, but it was tipped off the hand of a Brian player. Hickman gets the ball off the inbound. Hickman for three, no good. And Hickman, a volume shooter. And, I mean, he, he puts up a lot of them. A seven and a half a game um, for this Milligan Buffalo team. Uh, scores a decent amount, nine a game. Um, but some would question his shot selection. Um, you know, maybe just a little bit too trigger happy, but a very good player. Gales, ball inside, takes the contact, and the back rim works for him as he's holding his ribs a little bit running down the floor now Tomei for three that's no good Baher with the ball looking to get it to somebody he'll finally plant and find Grimes I believe Milligan is back into a man to man and they're back into that zone they're disguising it very well he might be into kind of a matchup zone there as Logan Allen, good move all the way up. The drop step works for him, and he gets back on the board. Good strong move there to give the Lions two. And I believe this is going to be a full timeout for head coach Bill Robinson of the Milligan University Buffaloes. 6.02 on the game clock, 31-19, Bryan College. We'll take our second break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here on the Lions Radio Network.
Welcome back in, folks. 6.02 left in the first half. Brian comfortably with the lead. And um, the Lions look to continue here. It's really been hard-nosed defense and good gang rebounding from the Lions. It's given them such a cushion. Milligan just not able to do a whole lot. They've been forced into tough shots. Um, they've been forced into rush shots. And uh, Brian doing a very good job at limiting their best guy. There's Hickman. That one no good. Baher rips the rebound away from Tomei. Grimes looking to push. Logan Allen with the ball. They go back to him. That one rejected. He gets his own rebound. That one stripped. There's a, and we're going to get a foul on, I believe that's going to be on McClure. Milligan's coach clamoring for the three seconds on Allen. He's not going to get it. The foul's going to stand against McClure. And it looks like senior Nick Roberts, the senior out of Alcoa, Tennessee, Looks to check in for Baher. Baher been in the whole game up to this point. Grimes long outlet pass to Roberts. They just look to get the ball in. 16 on the shot clock. Milligan still in this matchup zone. And just not really a whole lot of problems for the Lions just yet. Johnson pull up Jay. That one no good. Gold corrals the rebound. Bogans to push. Bogans finds the cutting. Carlson keeps it up. Grimes went for the steal. That'll be two points finally for the Milligan Buffaloes. Feels like a while since they've gotten a bucket. And that pass picked off by... Bogan, Bogan all the way up, and that one takes the contact from Roberts. Coach Rakowski not liking what he's seeing. He'll get a 30-second timeout as a four-point swing for Milligan there, and the Lions look to clear up the confusion that happened on that last offensive possession. And if you're just joining us, or if you haven't heard, tonight is upward night for the girls' game. Big game, uh, two teams, two and three uh, at the top of the standings. Brian and Milligan women's teams. Um, and we look to have the Upward program over from Family Church here. Um, and they will be playing an exhibition game on our court at halftime. We'll be honoring them. Um, if you don't plan to make it to the game, and you can, uh, tickets are cheap, just $5. Great basketball action for a bargain. Come on down. Um, support the Dayton, Tennessee, Brian College Lions. And we hope to see you here later today. We look to get back into the men's game. And after that quick timeout, we'll see if the Lions kind of figured out uh, some of those blunders that happened on that last series. And Milligan looking to send a trap defense at Grimes. Grimes adept at handling pressure. Allen for three. That one good. Logan Allen now got nine on the board. And, you know, he's had some turnovers. He's had some struggles in the paint, keeping his feet under him. But nine quick points for him here in the first half. Bogans for three, or Bogan, excuse me. That one is good. Milligan College answering a triple with their own. 34 to 26 on the scoreboard. And here we go. Grimes looking, getting trapped. They're looking to take away his first option. Milligan and Grimes will just throw it out off of Bogan's foot. Bogan all sorts of vibes up there on the sideline as they almost forced the turnover. Looks like they're going to do it once again. Grimes going to attack this time. He'll go straight to the middle, find the wide open Caden Johnson. That one no good. Gales gave chase. And I believe they're saying it was out on Bogan. Nobody on the Milligan side agreeing with that one. And Brian may be a free possession here. Roberts with the ball. Roberts dish off to Allen. Allen pump fake, loses the ball. Bogan up the floor now. 
And Bogan all the way up, takes the contact, and he is fired up, man. As the conference leading scorer shows you why right there, Gales came down, picked up the foul. It'll be his first, team third. Bogan will go to the line for the chance for three. Bogan knocks it down. Baher checks back in for Roberts. Milligan applying full court pressure here, trying to give the line some different looks. Grimes will get it to Baher, can't find it. Saves it, flips it to Allen. Allen all the way in. No foul call there. And that's going to remain Bryan College ball. Milligan cut the deficit here. Seven points in the last three minutes. 34 to 29. Bryan College. And a little bit of confusion from the referees. Looks like they cleared it up. Baher receives it. He'll be trapped. Baher trying to find somebody. Finds the cutting Johnson all the way up and in. Caden Johnson with his first two of the ball game. The young man been pretty quiet here tonight. Um, but, I mean, just adds so much more to the Lions. And other people are scoring. Bogan knocks it down. Good in and out off the screen. And Folly Bogan asserting himself a little more now into this ball game. Grimes screen from Baher. Gales, Odell Beckham type catch to save that one inbounds. Baher all the way, takes the contact, no whistle. Milligan has the advantage in numbers. Bogan working on Gales once again, crashes all the way in, no good. Allen get, corrals the rebound. And we'll get a foul on Hickman. That's going to be his first. I believe team six. Brian College, one foul away from that bonus. I believe, I believe that's from where Baher took a tumble on the last possession. He slid across the court. They're cleaning up some sweat now. Grimes with the ball, left wing. He'll work on Higman. Brian College, nine on the shot clock, looking to get something up quick. Allen around the screen, finds Grimes, Grimes, quick three from the left wing, well off there. Bogan looking to push, Sam Gold into the paint, back to Bogan, Bogan quick three-pointer, that one is good. Folly Bogan has been electric from the offensive end here. And Bogan already with 16 first-half points. There seems to be no man on Bryan College that can stop him. Baher, dangerous pass. Gales all the way in, lost it for a second, finds Johnson. Johnson stop and pop three, and he connects on the triple. Caden Johnson with five first-half points now. Bogan all the way up, no good. Rebound, Carlson, and he puts it up and in. 39-36, Bryan College. I believe we're going to be looking at the last two possessions of the half here. This matchup zone causing the Lions to hesitate for just a moment. That's all it takes in the game of basketball. We see Baher. He's working. Can't find the angle. Grimes, eight on the shot clock. Allen, deep three. That one no good. Rebound to May. And Milligan looks to slow it up as they'll have the last shot of the first half. Bogan, top of the key. Grimes, the quickest defender on the court. Probably going to try to go for the early steal rather than face him straight up. Bogan's pull-up jump shot. That one short. Baher with the ball, two on the clock. Grimes from half court. 
and just off to the left. Gave the rim a scare there. And that's how the first half will wrap up. 39-36, Bryan College um, will be back after the halftime break. Don't go anywhere. Grab you a snack. Grab you a drink. Get comfortable. We've got a good one on our hands here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with me for this second half, we've got a guy that uh, did a little broadcasting last year. Uh, he's not a newbie. He's got some experience in the booth. A co-host for the second half, Mr. Camden Fuquay. How's it going, man? Man, it's great. Great to be here tonight. Hopefully we can see some good ball here in the second half. We had a good first half, and uh, see if the Lions can't pull it out in the second. Yeah, absolutely. And an absolutely enormous game here for the Lions. These two teams neck and neck in the standings. Uh, this has all sorts of postseason implications, and you know, just right now, you don't want to get into a lower seed and have to play a dominant team if you don't have to. You see Gale's triple there from the corner. Bodies hit the floor. Da, no good. He's still fighting for the ball. That motor don't stop, does no, it? No, it does not. He plays through the whistle and sometimes even mm. past it. And talk about playing through the whistle. Grimes absorbs the contact and gets it to go with the right hand. He'll have a chance for three at the line. So, Cam, I mean, give me, give me one guy from each team that stood out in that first half to you. Well, for Milligan, I think, I think it had to be Folly Bogan. Yeah, I yeah, mean, man. 16 points. I mean, he was dominant. It wasn't quiet. It was loud. You yeah. know, he... He let you he let you know that he that he was the guy out there. Yeah, he does. Um, Dalen Gales was very big for the Lions in the first half. I know Logan Allen, he did a lot of good things yeah. in the first half too. I think he had nine points. Um just overall there's Bogan right there yeah, on cue. Another one. Um, yeah. The just scores at three score. levels, man. Scores yeah. at three levels. But I would like to see um number twenty one Josh get into it a little bit. Yeah, Josh Barr, yeah. yeah. He's uh he's been quiet offensively, but he He's, I think he's had, he's had a bucket and he's, he's not been forcing it, which is, which is a good sign. I think it's led to some open threes uh, and some more open driving lanes from the lines. Uh, but maybe he can get going offensively. Gales takes a tumble and he's going to get a travel called on him there. And hmm. I mean, he hit the floor really hard yeah. there. I, one's got to wonder if there was some contact that kind of helped him there. Maybe a trip from the back, little, the backside. A little physical game yeah. there, so. It's been a physical game so far. Too. Oh yeah, been, absolutely. Been, been up and down, been real physical. So, absolutely, it's uh, it's been a back and forth game. The Lions got up 12. Uh, you thought they had it figured mm -hmm. out, and then in came in came Bogan, and I mean he just he kind of one man offense Milligan back here. Absolutely, and Milligan's done better. They picked it up on the defensive. Defensive end. I believe they're in kind of a matchup zone. Yeah. Uh, and it's been it's been giving the Lions some problems. From the uh, from the top of the key, as you see, Bogan. That's going to be his 21st of the game. He's got over half of Milligan's points. Baher, top of the key, kicks it to Grimes. Grimes open, contested by Bogan. That one no good. Da still giving chase. I think and that, that one might have been a little closer than we thought it was. Yeah, going the, going the other way. I believe he might have blown that whistle because D.A. crashed into McClure. Probably. Uh, and he didn't want to call the foul. But, yeah, that one looked like it was off McClure. Bogan from nowhere land doesn't mm. get it to go. D.A. can't cor corral the rebound. McClure all the way. That one no good. Tipped up. D.A. secures the rebound. And a foul going to be called on, I believe it's going to be on Bogan. That one will go against Tomei. I believe that's going to be his first. You know, looking you know at that at the halftime, man, it was it was almost dead even. Yeah. And it was almost dead even with everything assists. Brian had way more assists than yep. than uh, Milligan did, but that's more or less Bogan making his own shot. But really, the only difference was one three. Yeah. Four for thirteen for Milligan, five for thirteen for Brian, and that was a, that was the difference at halftime. So absolutely, it seems like Brian controlled the first. And, one. and right there, uh, Da uses the pump fake. Got Bogan on his back. I believe that's going to be Bogan's. I think that's going to be his second foul, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be his first. Um, but it seems like Brian controlled the first like 12 minutes, and then Milligan controlled the back half mm -hmm. of that eight. Mm -hmm. And that's you're right. It's just been an even game from those two perspectives. Da's free throw is no good. Bogan the board. We'll get a walk on Bogan. He didn't like the call. I'm not sure his head coach does either. I'm not sure I agree with it. I, <laughs> yeah, thought, it, I thought it was a decent move. 
I thought it was a little too, a little quick twist of the whistle there. Yeah. Thought maybe we'd get a foul on. Absolutely. That's but. a lot of body contact, but that ignored for the travel. Grimes slices man, and dices all the way to the rim. Man, he's quick. He's good at that, ain't he, man? Yeah. He just knows how to attack his lanes. He moves the ball really well. Just an all-around true point guard and the guy you want on your team at all yeah. times. No doubt. Gold kicks it to Tomei. Tomei finds Bogans. Bogans falling away in the corner. No good. Another fight for the rebound. These two, the two bigs on this team are going at it in the paint. Gales now hesitated for a moment, got the angle, and went up over Carlson. Gales continues his big night from the scoring perspective. This is a play Milligan runs a lot to get Bogans open looks. That time he dishes. And we're going to get a foul on D.A. Hmm. What they called a bump on him on the pass. That's going to be his second team first of the half. Carlson backing down Baher. Baher, good defensive pressure being applied. And Milligan trying to get a little bit too, mm -hmm. a little bit too fancy there. They kept flipping it around, and it eventually kicked off a hand of a Brian Defender. I'm not sure who. Bogan with the ball. They're going to set him a screen. Five on the shot clock. Tomei, corner, three-pointer. That one long. Another fight for the rebound. And it will go the way of Brian College. 48-41, 15-56 on the game clock. The Lions with the advantage. Johnson, deep pull-up three. Mm. That one well short. It feels like Bogans has had almost ten rebounds as well. I think he has uh, seven or eight right seven, now. Seven, yeah. He's, he's been everywhere. D.A., and we're going to get a jump ball there at half court. D.A. got all over McClure at the midline. And that is not a box you want to be put in when he's applying applying his length on the edge. No. And he's gotten a lot stronger since last yep. year, too. He's been he's hit the weight room. I'm good friends with Clear. And, yep. you know, he looks, it looks good this year. He's come into a big role. And his minutes fluctuate quite a bit. And, it you know, this – to me, this is the perfect game for him to be in. Right. Sometimes you go with a Logan Allen, you go with a Nick Roberts. But, I mean, a scrappy, just brawl, this is the guy that you right. want at that four spot. And, and you can tell Milligan's wanting to make it that physical, fast yep. pace game, and that's, that's where Clear kind of thrives in. You know, his defensive presence really shown there. Not that he can't score, because he can. He's proved yeah. it before. Baher took it away from Carlson. Baher tries to go all the way up the floor, can't get it, and will get a foul. It'll go against Baher. I believe that's going to be his second. No, that's going to be his first. Excuse me. That'll be team second as McCaskill Rivers checks back in for Carlson. Looks like, oh, and uh, excuse me, number three, Jay Hickman also checked in for Milligan. Hickman, I believe he's scoreless in this game. Averages about nine a game for him. Good ball movement by Milligan. McCaskill Rivers, that one no good. D.A. pulls down another strong rebound. That's exactly what we were talking about right there. Big. Big. Defense ain't over till you get the rebound. Yep. No matter how good a defense you play, if you don't get the rebound, it's no good. Hickman, pull-up jumper, that no good. This time Rivers going to come away with it. Bogan all the way in over Baher. That one's short. And it, just an absolute scrum for the ball. Mm. Ends with Rivers. A good, strong, right-handed move on the left side. He gets the two points. And, I mean, it's going to be a fight every time a shot goes up on either end. I mean, you can feel it the rest of this game. 48-43, uh, 14-30 on the game clock. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in as we get you right to the action. Caleb Grimes going to start us off. McCaskill Rivers applies good hands-up defense. Hickman pump fakes, gets it to Bogan. Grimes going to knock Bogan out of the way and probably a good foul yeah. there. Bogan had a full head of steam there. And will go to the baseline. I believe that's going to be Grimes' first, team third. Hickman off balance, leaner, no good. Mm. Had a little extra yeah, right yeah, there, we get, didn't we? Yeah, we get a foul that probably just didn't need to be taken there. Referee's having a conversation with him on the far side. I'm sure Coach Robinson from Milligan isn't, isn't too pleased about yeah, that. No. We're getting 190 yeah. feet away from the basket's cheap. Yeah. No, Robinson is a no nonsense guy. We. <laughs> As we battled against him through the years, man, he's he's one to pull guys out for for things that he deems unacceptable, and that that's got to be one right there. Baher can't find the angle. Five on the shot clock. Caden Johnson pump fake finds the cutting. Da Da up gets the lay with the right hand. Great cut at the end of the shot clock to make something out of nothing. And the Lions get the two points. It's a good way of being patient on that possession. That matchup zone kind of forces you to kind of move your offense a little bit further behind the three-point yep. line than you'd like, and you just kind of kept with the ball movement, found the soft spots, and finally found a cut in DH to the basket. It absolutely does. I mean, it forces it forces you to change. Ryan College, of course, you know, they run the, the zoom action uh, and definitely a team that wants to play that man-to-man. And, you know, when they, we're in this matchup, it's all about how fast you move the ball uh, and finding those cutting lanes. And you saw it right there from D.A. On the other end, Bogan got his own miss and tipped it back up and in. Barr with the ball, low post. D.A. finds Johnson open. Caden Johnson, that one just long. The offensive rebound by Barr gets it to Grimes. Grimes sinks the 18-footer. As good hustle there from Baher, gave him the second effort. Mm -hmm. I believe that's Baher's eighth rebound. He's got six yep. or eight points. He's got five or six assists. And man, that, it's it's huge how he passes. <laughs> yep. A good fundamental basketball player in there. He's a good stretch forward. Yep. He's a good one to have in there. And besides, I mean, besides Grimes, he's he's probably Brian's only other facilitator on the floor. And he might be even a little bit better than Grimes. I mean, he's just a stat sheet stuffer. You see right. guys like that that don't they don't necessarily care how many points they score. Um, they just look. They just look to do what they know is is right and make high IQ basketball plays. We'll see. Bo uh, excuse me. Bogan switch on to Grimes here. Grimes looking to get it into Baher. Does Gales open corner three? A little contest given by Gold. There's Da on the boards. They clear time. Da having a huge impact on this second half. As I believe, I believe he's got six alone in this second half. Bogan drives in. That one no good. Johnson brings down the rebound. Quiet night for Caden Johnson. I, you know, he's he's not gotten the shot attempts he normally does, but he he's definitely not he's definitely not sticking out. He's not doing anything that you would you would point to and say, you know, maybe he needs to be off the floor. Right. And I think that's the matchup zone kind of playing to it because yeah. it almost runs you off the three point line a little bit. Yep. And there he is. That's a good move there right he there. There he is, yeah. Good move right there. Don't look now, but uh kind of slowly creeped up 11 point lead here yeah and this is what we saw from brian in the early first half they they slowly just kind of built the lead through defensive stops and knocking down shots and now the question is can they keep it this time around see rivers good physical good. move that one rejected by baher bogans overpowers gales unable to get the follow through attempt and brian college is going to take a timeout that'll be their third timeout of the game and it'll be a full timeout, so we'll take a break with them. Brian College leads 56-45. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere here on the Lions Radio Network.
welcome back in after the short break. And Cam, we were talking. I mean, do you like the time out there from Coach Rakowski? Thought it was a little questionable. Um, we kind of talked about it during the break. Yeah. You know, you're on a run. The guys are a little, a little tired. But, you know, their guys are tired too. It gives them an option to get, get their guys off the court. Probably your best clicking lineup all night. Yeah. Baher and Kalir honestly really led that because yeah. of how tough they've been down low. Absolutely. You know, no second chance points. They're they're really getting they're really getting offensive rebounds on the other yeah. end, facilitating whether that be scoring or passing. So uh, hopefully it works out. Yeah. You know, but we'll see if it pays off right here. As Roberts checked into the game for Baher, Gales all the way glides. Good move. Smooth finish there with the right hand, and Gales has not missed a beat from where he started in the first half. <laughs> And that may answer a question right there about yeah. the timeout call. Maybe you want to just run a little play, get a little action going. Yeah, if that was a drawn-up design play, it worked to perfection. Absolutely. Bogan, good defensive pressure by D.A. Bogan. Off balance, Ooh. doesn't matter. A tough shot from the right wing by Bogan. And Milligan scoring drought finally over. Gales crosses over on goal, takes the contact, almost got it to go. I believe that foul is going to go against gold. It will. You know, with a lot of these zones, you play, you want to you want to get it to the six line. Mm -hmm. You know, like one, I mean, three twos, one three ones, right. two threes, whatever. This matchup zone here, you saw there, they they're kind of cheating that baseline. Yeah, they absolutely. They won't almost push you to the baseline and come and trap you. And it's like it works as a triple team with the baseline sitting right there. Mm -hmm. So it kind of really makes it hard. You know, they're running off the three-point line. They're kind of running you towards the baseline. Right. So you really want to keep that ball in the center of the court. Right. Yeah, you want to find that angle for sure. That's a, that's a great point. Um, Milligan's trying to dictate where the ball goes by setting up in that zone. And I believe Gales put both of those in. So that'll be – those will be his 14th and 15th points. I believe it was just one. Huh? I believe it was just one. Just one? Okay. I think it was just one. Excuse it was 58 me. to 40. 47. Yeah, you are right. He missed one. It'll be his 15th point. Bogan's working on Gales. A plethora of moves. That one long. Roberts brings down the board. Caleb Grimes looking to push the pace now. He's got McClure one-on-one. -on -one, mm. And that one just short of an and one as well. And, I mean, there's nobody there's nobody with a quicker first step than Caleb no. Grimes. No. Uh, and. If, you, if you've got to go at him one-on-one -on -one with him and a full head of steam, it's a losing proposition almost every time. Grimes' first free throw is good. I believe Grimes is somewhere near 80% on the year, one of Brian's more reliable free throw shooters. His second one, no good. Announcer jinx. Uh, that, one, that one's on me, Cam. <laughs> well, he might, he might have, Gales might have made both there. You know, but now we're at 61. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, I, good I, defense by Collier. I don't know. Johnson over the top to Gales. Gales can't handle it. Was going for the highlight, saves it somehow, chucks it out to Roberts, and Bogan's tip gonna remain Bryan College basketball into the game for the first time. Number 20, Cole Torres. I'm a guy that you know he gets spot minutes. Um, doesn't get them every game. Uh, Kind of just depends on if he hits his shots, to be bluntly honest with you. He's right. a great three-point shooter, uh, pretty good scorer. And uh, once again, Milligan learning nothing from the last time Grimes tried that, and he gets the two points. McClure now. DA gave chase. McClure used his fakes well, got to the rim, and another timeout. One would think that that we'll probably see some full-court pressure applied by Milligan. They went to it in the first half, and it kind of helped them get back in it. I, um, I would assume so as yeah. well, especially a timeout after a bucket like right. that, you know. Get to maybe get some momentum change, try to get a quick steal. Yep. Um, they're going to come out and be aggressive, you see. Yep. I mean, they they want to be fast. They worked fast there. They got back. Even after a bucket, they got back and tried to get in transition. Mm -hmm. So, uh Curious to see how this goes here. You know, yep. Brian can break the press here and just kind of slow the game down like they've been doing and kind of through their methodical way of, I guess, on the half in the half yep. court sets. And uh, yeah, man, it's been a great half. Absolutely, great half yeah, basketball. The, if you're, I mean, if you're a fan of good basketball, you're a fan of the Brian lines. You're pretty happy right now on both accords. Um, one thing that Coach Rakowski preached this week was we've got to control the tempo, game in and game out. And I. 
I think he was thinking more of a half-court perspective, and Brian has definitely taken more half-court possessions than Milligan this game. Uh, but they, they haven't let Milligan run the way that they want to run, and that's, that's a big thing. Milligan, 20th in the country, the entire country in the NAI, um, at uh, offensive efficiency, transition efficiency. So um, props to the Lions for kind of shutting that down. Absolutely. And here is that full-court pressure we were, we were talking about. Looks like we're going man-to-man here. Just going, anyone try to – no? And they don't trap the first pass, just some light full-court pressure to – kind of save the Lions getting downhill. Bogan's, Bogan guarding uh, guarding Grimes. That's an interesting switch from what we've seen. And Roberts can't get it to Gales. Bogan's up. Bogan's finish with some authority there. That was a pretty impre- – I know he's all alone. It's still an impressive, impressive dunk. Absolutely. Another turnover for the Lions here as D.A. can't handle it. And – Milligan looks to run again. No good. And two disastrous possessions mm. for the line. I mean, worst case scenario, really. You get, you turn the ball over twice, and then you give up the lay, you give up the dunk. Excuse me. And now you've got a guy at the line for free throws. And I mean, it's kind of interesting where where the pressures kind of hurt a match. You know, a lot of times you see when when you get full court pressure, it hurts you, hurts you on the way up in the backcourt. Yeah. And you know, both both turnovers have been at the top of top in the yeah. uh, your half, start of your half court sets and now we see Josh Baher coming back in and hopefully that can kind of settle down some yeah. things and uh, that's where Milligan's setting that trap is Rivers second free throw no good but they're setting that trap and I, I think you're right it is odd but yeah, it's paying off for him as this is probably exactly what head coach Bill Robinson had in mind Grimes loose with the handle another turnover that's three in a row to May Gets, yeah, yeah. That was on the way down. Yeah, yeah. good call there. As Gales, Gales went for it. I, man, he got he got up on that one. He's uh, one of the better athletes I've ever yeah. been around. Yeah, he's, thin, he's he's listed at six two, um, but that's probably with hair. He's probably only six foot. A guy like him, six foot six one. A guy like him right. getting up for a block like that. My goodness. Johnson somehow got out of there. That's, that's Baher probably not with the first the ball. pass you want to make. And another tip ball. Is, Ryan's got to settle down mm-hmm. offensively right now. They're letting this pressure dictate how they play. And, you know, I'm not going to question any, you know, head coach at this level. One thinks Milligan might should have been in this probably the whole game. I know it's exhausting for your players to do, but. And especially he hasn't really showed to have a, deep bench you know he's played kind of a seven-man rotation yeah the entire time and da swings it to torres torres in the corner in Cole there, torres into the shot clock and a big shot for brian right there as that stops the bleeding and gives them a 12-point lead bogans finds rivers rivers lets it go that one short tomei gives chase finds torres torres in traffic Ooh. shook rivers there Johnson looking to slow it down a little bit for Brian. Johnson behind the screen, fires, no good. There's Khalil D.A. on the offensive rebound again. He'll find Gales. One more to Torres. Torres again. Cole Bang. Torres knocks it down, and the Lions' lead has grown to 15 just like that. Big minutes out of Torres. You know, those are those are tough shots, yep. man. You ain't been in the game all day. It's, it's tough to come yep. in and just, and just get in the flow. And, I mean, he yeah. – now getting a little defensive pressure. And another turnover committed by Milligan here. And if you've ever played NBA 2K, you know the microwave badge. And <laughs> Torres has certainly got that equipped. Baher wide open. And Brian is rolling. We'll get a timeout from Milligan here as it has been all Lions since it was 54-63, which was only about a minute and a half ago. <laughs> but we're going to take... Uh, we're going to take our third break of the half. Um, actually, we'll keep it here. We'll do this promo now. Um, Upward night next. Uh, you'll get to see that. 4 p.m., the girls play Milligan. Two teams, two and three in their conference. Huge game. Both teams looking for national ranking respect. We're having the kids uh, of the Upward program at Family Church over. They're going to play an exhibition game at halftime. Uh, if, you, if you can make it out in time, 
Tickets are cheap, just five bucks. Great basketball action. You'll get to enjoy the event. Um, and if you can't, we'll have it on the live stream. Please tune into that. Um, if you can make it out, we'd love to have you here. I'm excited for I'm excited for this yeah. girls game today. You know, yeah. I, when I heard it was two versus three, and yeah. you know, our, our girls, I kind of like to call them like it's like showtime, man. They just kind of it's almost like run and gun. They just going to jack them up from deep, and they can shoot them. Yeah. And we've talked a lot about that on uh, this broadcast. They can shoot them, but I mean, I've been I've been so impressed with the defense <laughs> this year, man. Very, They're very. They turned I, it around. I remember last year, Coach Johnson, he said that uh, <laughs> when they went to the AI opening rounds the year mm. before. He thought that was what lacked was the defense. He thought the defense, he was yep. going to make sure, that, you know, they had a couple games there where they didn't score as well. He wanted yep. to make sure that, that them girls knew how to play defense and get in a stance and, ro- and get Torres the rotation. Torres up the around. court. Good move. Torres, speed finish. He's got eight points in about two minutes here. He's, he's been a huge boost off the bench for Lightning him. in a bottle, ain't it? Yep. But, yeah, man, I – I think I think Coach Johnson has done a terrific job with the, I mean kind of cleaning up some of the holes that they had. Um, they're definitely a more complete team. They're probably not as deep as they were in past years, um, but the top in talent is still there. And we'll see what happens, man. I'm I'm very excited for that 4 p.m. game. As far as swings at the corner, Johnson one dribble pull up, connects from the baseline. Everything going right for Brian here as we run roll down to the stretch of this game, 75-57. Milligan going to need to get quick buckets and stops to have any chance in this one. As McClure bumps Grimes, maybe a little bit of a little bit of extension there. Off. He didn't get he didn't get too extended with yeah. it, so it's good, maybe a good no call. And I don't know if you could hear that, but Coach Rakowski not was calling for a foul before before the refs blew the whistle. I don't know I don't know how happy he was with. Caden taking it in the yeah in the tri- triple team in yeah. the middle, middle of the court, which is where you want to be, but All right. it's hard to dribble through the press. You know, yeah. you gotta work the ball around. You gotta be a talented ball handler mm-hmm. to get through three people. And, and even, not not saying he's not. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, even sometimes I mean just the sheer numbers there. It's just <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. And Johnson's second free throw, no good. Milligan down 17. And I, they can't trade buckets right now. They're, they're probably going to need triples, and they're probably going to need stops here um, in that order. I would anticipate if they make a three here. And they well, do. That's McClure. I was going to anticipate a timeout after yeah. maybe set up some pressure, kind of like a couple minutes ago when they got on the little run. Well, they've had to use quite a few timeouts here, right. and that's probably playing an impact. Grimes finds Baher, top of the key. Johnson, Brian probably looking to take a lot of time off the clock with each possession. Don't want to completely grind to a halt, excuse me. And Baher loses the handle. We'll get a foul on Baher, probably a good foul there. Yeah. As Milligan had the numbers, and they were they were headed towards the hoop. And I believe that will be Baher's third. Nothing. Nothing too concerning. Only four minutes left in the game. Right. McClure with the ball. McClure had a very, I mean, kind of quiet but very impressive game. Uh, he's, I believe he's got 18, so he's their second leading scorer behind Bogan. You saw the Hickman three there. No good. And Hickman going to pick up a foul. He went for the st- – he, he almost had that. I believe he got a little bit of arm before he hit the ball. That's what they called. Those are tough judgment calls mm-hmm. to make, too. You know, not not easy. Johnson's first free throw is good. He tried to help up Rivers there. He wasn't going for it. He's waiting for his teammates. <laughs> Johnson's second free throw finds the twine. Milligan down 16 once again. Bogan going to take a quick three. That one no good. Gold with the rebound up and in. And there it is. There's the timeout you were anticipating. 
Four minutes on the clock. It'll be a full timeout. Uh, we're going to take probably what will be our last break. 78-64, Bryan College, 4.07 to go. Don't go anywhere. We've got the exciting finish to this game next on the Lions Radio Network. Right. Welcome back in. We're quickly into the action. As Gale's ill-advised pass there, Milligan creates the turnover. So once again, they go to the timeout. They set up the trap. They find success there. And now they got to, they've got to get a bucket here. You can't. I don't think you can walk away with any any no. empty offensive possessions here. As Gold takes the three. Sam there Gold. It there it is. 78-67, Brian. Grimes splits the D, and they're going after him with all they got. Grimes, that one is stolen. Gold up the floor, two rivers. Might have got away with a travel there. And that's going to be Milligan's last, last time, time out. out. Yeah, 335, and they've just they've just burnt. Ryan's got three still on the board. That's, that's going to be something to watch as this game wraps up. That's, wow. I feel like it, I, I get you it. have to have this possession. Yeah. You know, you, you get another turnover. Yeah. You know, if, if you turn it over and they, they get to go back and they get a bucket, you have to have this possession because there's a chance you can break this into a three-possession game right here. Mm. You're, I, if, actually, barring a, only making one free throw, you will yeah. turn this into a three-possession right. game. So, uh, time's running out. I've seen some crazy comebacks. Right. Uh, I believe Texas A&M and somebody in March Madness that one yeah, year. I forgot, yeah, uh, I forgot who it was. Northern uh, Iowa, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Northern cool. Iowa. Um, but, you know, it's – now with no timeouts, that'll be tough. But they got to – this is a possession I feel like they had to have. I agree. I, it's a little haphazard to walk out without – walk. you know, walk through the last three minutes with no timeouts. But I agree with you. If they can get – if they can get a bucket here, I mean, it cuts the lead to single digits – and you've, you've already got the timeout to set up, you know, another press. You can set the same press, really get it down. So probably a good call for Milligan and, all in all here. And I feel like Coach Robinson's probably okay with extending this game with fouls. Mm -hmm. um, I know here, I guess, two more fouls. They'll go, they'll go in the double bonus. Mm -hmm. But uh, Brian shot 70% from the free throw line, which is not bad, but not, not right. amazing. Um, seems like this half would kind of split. Each time we went, one make mm -hmm. one, miss one. So I feel like right now he's probably comfortable extending this game if he can get this possession right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And Brian had a little free throw trouble at home versus CIU uh, when they when they played them here. I believe that was last Saturday. Um, mm -hmm. So definitely not definitely not a, a a knockdown team at all from the charity stripe. We see Bogan with the rebound, pull up jumper. That one no good. Da able to bring it down. Da found finally found Johnson. And Gold will pick up the foul. And that, you know, I, I don't mind it. I really don't. Johnson was moving up the floor. There was really nobody behind Gold. And if you're going to if you're gonna start the foul game early, you might as might well. well. You might as well go ahead. Johnson knocks down the first free throw. Just a freshman, man, but he's been in some big spots, some big games already, had some big games. Um, and, I mean, you see that. These are big big pressure free throws that you've got to have. Absolutely. And that's just going to help with the coming years, too. I mean, I know you got to focus on this year and winning mm -hmm. this year, but you just don't know how that how big that is, having a guy that can come in and mature. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, I always heard that, 
you're a freshman. You're a freshman in November, but by January you're a sophomore. Yep. You know, you you've got enough experience now. Gale takes the pressure. Bar rejected by Bogan, and a member of the Brian bench caught that one. Barher went for the uh, went for the knockout punch, as they say. Bogan not really not ready to make that uh, make that trip back to uh, where is Milligan from? Is it Kingsport? I think it's Johnson City Johnson or Elizabeth City. Yep. area. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those one of those yeah. cities up there. They're all in yeah. all in twenty minutes of each other. It seems like Barher long backcourt pass to Grimes. Grimes done really well so far. Just a few turnovers on his record, and they've thrown pressure at him all day. Five on the shot clock. Gale's looking for somebody. Can't find him. McClure push the, looks to push up the floor now. Gold finds Bogan. Um, they got to go. Milligan's really got to go now. Bogan finds Hickman. Hickman for three. It's good. Jay Hickman, better late than never. His first triple of the game after starting out 0 of 6. That was a crazy. That was a great job by Caleb there. To yeah, to generate that generate contact. That foul, yeah. he, he in and out dribbling, hopped right into him and just generated it. Very heads up move. Yeah, Hickman missed his first six. Really? Yeah, but when it from distance, but you know, if you make if you make your last few, I guess nobody remembers the uh, the early ones. Grimes knocked down the first free throw. Eighty-one seventy. Bryan College here. And Brian going to the charity stripe here. If Grimes can knock down the second one, that'll be four in a row. Um, and they're really, they're really me- making Milligan pay for applying this full court, you know, high intensity, mm-hmm. uh, almost foul prone trap. Bogan all the way rejected by Gales. He met him at the summit, and that one will be off the foot of Grimes. So you thought Brian, you thought Brian got away with it there. But unfortunately, you know, a good, another good heads-up defensive play in the backcourt by Milligan causes the turnover, and Milligan's got another offensive possession. Hickman pump fake, thought about it for a second. That one long. Grimes climbs the ladder, brings down that rebound over the much taller Rivers. Grimes finds the cutting D.A. D.A. kicked out to Gales. The crowd was kind of moaning there, but I, I agree. I like that. Yeah, I good like play. That. Hickman with the steal. Hickman up on Baher. He'll get the foul. Hickman at the line. I do not believe he has any attempts in the game. He doesn't. He knocks down his first. You know, it's been a tough day for Hickman offensively, yeah. but I, you, you just got to respect that he's played hard all night. Mm. You know, it, a lot of guys can fold. I mean, he started what 0 for 8, yeah, 0 for 8 from the from the field, 0 for 6 from the uh, yep. three point line, and you know, it's just it's just never it never bothered him. It seemed mm. like you know, and uh, he stayed he stayed pretty vigilant defensively. He was he was he's gotten at least at least two steals, and he's been close to a few others. Um, and you know you're right. Never let his down offensive night affect what he what else he could do on the defensive end. Absolutely, absolutely. I was sitting here looking, Josh Baher, man, just eight points, ten rebounds, six assists. Mm. Uh, that's just so important. Yeah. You know, going back, Clear's got eight points, eight rebounds. Mm. You know, going back to rebound and those two guys battling out in the post. I really feel like should we hold on one one Brian this game? Yeah. You know. It wasn't. It, it's not the most glorious thing to look at, you know. Right. It's not everybody. Everybody's not going to notice. They're going. They're going to see. I think Dalen with 18. Right. Uh, Caleb with 17, or Caleb with 18. Dalen with 17. Right. But those, those two guys right there, man, they're going. They're going to wake up in the morning and be a little sore because yeah. they they went to battle tonight. Absolutely. Might not be your traditional battlefield, but they. You're right. They, they went to war. <laughs> Absolutely. And they've done it. They've done a really good job. Not like they've gotten their butt kicked and. Brian's winning despite them. Hickman's second free throw is good. Ten-point ball game, 132 to go here. 
Brian's going to have to get it in bounds. They do. Baher finds Gales. Gales up the floor to D.A. D.A.'s got the layup. Gold goes for the block. Can't get it. Ten points for clear D.A. And probably none bigger than that. 84-72. He almost comes away with the steal. Bogan adjusts his body. And another late whistle on the baseline. A foul is called on Baher. I believe that will be his fourth. Mm-hmm. And Brian College now into the bonus, so both teams will be shooting bonus free throws um, for the final 116. Leave. It gets a little slick in here when yeah. it rains outside. Everybody, everybody that's played here knows that rains outside. Not, I'm not sure the technical reason why. What, what the, re- but it get, it gets slick in here for whatever reason. Right, you're asking the wrong person. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't I know. No I don't know the technical stuff about it, but I guess just all that condensation outside's got to go I'm somewhere. Assume. I don't know. Clear's doing it all, cleaning yeah. the floor, cleaning Popping the boards. it up, huh? And folks, once again, we have a little lull. Bogan's going to shoot the first free throw here, but. Um, Join us on YouTube.com on this channel for the girls' live stream. It'll be Upward Night. Um, you'll get to see uh, the kids from Family Church in the Upward program play a game, an exhibition game at halftime. Um, it's a huge game. Bryan College women two, Milligan a million University women three, and you know it, the stakes couldn't be any bigger. It's going to be a packed out house. It should have all the the makings of an instant classic. So once again, right here on YouTube.com, at Brian Athletics. Um, Hey, if you're out there, if you're close to us, come on down. We'd love to have you. Tickets are cheap, just $5. You get to see some pretty pretty good basketball action. There's there's nowhere around Dayton, Tennessee that I can think of like it, besides, you know, maybe that one blue school. And, uh, (laughs) but come on down. We'd love to have you. Baher knocks down the two free throws, 86-73. So barring a miracle here, this game's probably racked up, wrapped up. Hickman quick three, no good. And that should just about do it for this game. Milligan still applying pressure. Grimes finds Gales. Gales wisely pulls it out. Just under a minute to go here in this game. And I believe, uh, yeah. I believe Milligan's about to pull the plug as well. Ooh, Looks the, like they have. Grimes going to have to get one shot up. Grimes with the ball. Six seconds. Grimes, quick pull-up jumper. That no good. Rivers pulls it down. Hickman with the ball. Gales is not going to let him get an easy one up. And, I, yeah, I'm a Bryan College fan, but that was a foul. <laughs> Unnecessary. Yeah. Too. Up, up. Yeah. Up this much this late, you know, no reason to foul, stop the clock, and just give any other chance to maybe – Right. For a resurgence. Right. We'll get a foul from Rivers, so we'll have to wait just another second to wrap this one up. Brian College up 86-75. Coach Rakowski applying the clap right now. I think he I think he knows Starting this one's well it. in hand. Yeah. Starting to feel it. Seeing all these little kids come in in their jerseys, man. Yeah. Just just how awesome is that? Yeah, you know, absolutely. As a, as a kid, you know, I talked about earlier, UNC grew up a big UNC fan, and as a local, I wasn't really local to a college mm-hmm. except that. I just imagine a seven, eight, nine year old kid getting to go play in the Dean Smith Center, yeah. you know, or go play at your local college. Just, I mean, this is going to make some of them absolutely, here, you know, it's going to be fun to watch at halftime, man. Hey, it really will, and you know, I can't say enough how great it is that I get to work for a place that is allowed to do something like this, uh, collaboration with the church. Bryan College, truly a great place to be. Um, if for some reason you're on the live stream and you're you're thinking about coming here, you ab- you absolutely should. Um, I can't say enough about it. Brian College wraps this one up, 88 to 75. Once again, join us for Upward Night at 4 p.m. on this channel, YouTube.com at Brian Athletics. Uh, for myself, and my partner Cam Fuquay. Cam, you got anything else, man? No, just a good win, and uh, let's come back and do it again at 4 o'clock, man. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this game. Absolutely. Yeah, that's. Enough said. We'll see you there, and uh, it'll be done all right here on the Lions Radio Network.